Hello and welcome to Denslet. And today we are going to discuss how a female robot is made inside a lab. Okay, you are watching on the screen different types of female robots, Sarah and Samantha and uh, others. And no, you know, immanent robots or female robots are constructed in such a way that they mimic the human body. They use actuators that perform like muscles and joints, though with a different structure. The actuators of humanoid robots can be either electric, pneumatic, or hydraulic. In today's video, we'll see how they are different from one to each other. Electric actuators are the most popular types of actuators in female robots or humanoid robots. These actuators are smaller in size, and a single electric actuator may not produce enough power for a human size joint. You mean, I mean, the elbow or the knee or you know the, uh, the joints between the legs, etc. Therefore, it's common to use multiple electric actuators for a single joint in a humanoid robot remember then the then comes hydraulic actuators it it is different from electric actuators in the way that hydraulic actuators produce higher power than electric actuators and pneumatic actuators also not could not produce such power and they have ability to control the torque they produce better than other types of actuators however they can become very bulky in size in fact if you want a small female human robot or female robot like uh, say in between five feet is then uh, five feet is, uh, is is too small for uh, hydraulic actuators if you start with six or seven feet it's okay so that is uh, a problem one solution to counter the side issue is the electric electro hydraulic actuators eha i'll talk about eha later uh, in a separate video and i'll show you how it i we can apply this for making in uh, the lab inside the lab uh, to make uh, female robots the most popular example of a human robot using hydraulic actuators is the atlas atlas i'll make uh, another video on atlas it is made by the boston dynamics you know and the third and the final one is the pneumatic pneumatic actuator pneumatic actuators operate on the basis of gas compressibility so therefore as they are inflated they expand along the axis and as they deflate they contract and they're joints work on that principle if one end is fixed the other will move in a linear trajectory you know the popular example of pneumatic, pneumatic actuator is a mac given muscle i'll talk about mac given muscle in a later video and show you how it can affect uh, our uh, female robots okay that is it for today a very short video but actually i hope that it will uh, give you some idea about how human robots or female robots are made in the lab so stay tuned keep watching keep supporting and uh, see you soon. So, goodbye.